You can buy oscilloscope leads of varying qualities uh, for varying prices. So here we have a picoscope lead and a Hantec lead here, which are really quite uh, opposite ends of the budget spectrum. But what about if you try and make your own? So making your own oscilloscope leads should be pretty straightforward. Um, I've never done it before, so I don't know how good the signal quality is going to be, but we can we can check that out as well. What you are going to need is uh, a BNC connector. So this is BNC connector. And these connectors have a little socket in the back where we can insert some wires and screw them down. And also the BNC connector, which will connect up to the oscilloscope. So these could be pretty cool for making all sorts of DIY oscilloscope probes. You get a whole bag of these really cheap. I'll put all the links below. So you're also going to need a banana connector or a four millimeter connector is another name for them. So we've got two options here. Here are like a quick connect banana connector. You can see the, the banana shape there. That's why they're called banana connectors. And this one has like a quick connect on it. So you just push it down, similar to what some kind of home amplifiers have on the back. And you can put your wire in there and it will clamp onto it. The other one we have is just like a screw type connector. So you would insert the wire into the back and wind down the grub screw there. <clears throat> and these are required to connect to things like your back probe accessories or crocodile clip accessories, like so. Then I've got some twisted kind of cable that I just found in my box. I think it's from some old airbag recalls we used to do many years ago. Similar to the wire that you'd get for kind of canvas. Okay, so we'll just uh, expose some cable. Strip that back a bit. I'm just going to twist and fold the ends over and I'm going to put the yellow trace in the positive so we know which one's positive. Screw that down, that was quite straightforward. Same for this one. Okay, there we go. Strip these ends off. I'm going to unwind these a bit more so we can separate our ground and positive lead further apart. Okay, straighten them out a bit. So yellow trace was the positive. We're going to put the insulation sleeve on first. Same for the black. I'm going to do the same again. It's not best practice, but it does just make sure that we've got a good connection. Let's just fold those over. So put that in here like this. Ideally, you'd want to kind of solder these after. Okay, there we are. Now we just need to bring the sleeves up. Push them in there like that. And there we are. Okay, and those holes there are if you want to piggyback one onto another. Okay, so here it is. Let's go and connect it up to something challenging, maybe some sort of CAN bus signal and uh, see what we get out. Okay, so we've connected up to the high speed canvas network on this fuel pump driver module down here. Let's uh, connect it up and see what happens. 
Okay, so not too bad so far. We've got a signal. Let's um, adjust our settings so we've got a bit of a, we can see a bit more. Okay, so it's flashing around there. Let's get the trigger on. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, open it up a bit more and just see if we can see any detail that we might uh, be losing out. Okay, so it's a little bit fuzzy on the corners there. Um, now that could be the leads. What I would have to do is really compare them to, um, you know, a proper set of leads. Um, but really, knock them up in a few minutes and it does the job. Not bad. So while we're in here, we might as well compare it to the Handtech leads that I am a big fan of. Okay, so we can see on the screen there the pattern that we had when we froze it from the DIY leads. Let's um, start the scope again and see if there's much difference. Not really, not much difference there. We can see that the line is a little bit more, um, could have slightly less interference, but we're really being picky. We're looking at this signal at five microseconds. You know, who in the automotive trade measures signals at five microseconds? So if we were being picky, we could say that the, the line is a little bit smoother on the uh, Handtech probes. Let's just switch back again. So this is the DIY probes. Okay, I'll just hold it on the ground there. So keep an eye on that line. Hmm, maybe not. Pretty much the same. So that is a pretty cheap setup. And I tell you, it's really quite worth getting yourself some of these and the four mil connectors so that you can go and make your own probes. Nice handy little things to have.